Today I'm going to show you a fix for using um, .mov movie files in Sony Vegas, um, including using more than two gigabytes of video files in version uh, eight or later, I think, until 15 of, ver of Sony Vegas. Um, this also applies to not having the quick, pop, proper QuickTime codex. Um, so if you download and install Vegas um, and have that working right, but you don't have QuickTime, this is what will happen. Your Vegas will not be able to um, import any .movs. The problem is when you install QuickTime, you cannot use more than two gigabytes of video at a time. What ends up happening is it gets really slow and unusable. Now the iPhone 7 compression rate is H.264. It's pretty good file size, but the problem is when you have, you know, maybe five to ten minutes worth of video, you're going to hit that two gigabyte mark very quickly. So in order to um, Instead of using .mov movies, what we're going to do today is actually make a converter um, using some free software. The converter actually only takes a few seconds per clip, no matter how big the clip is, to strip it and convert it over to an MP4. What you're going to do is go to ffmpeg.org and hit download. And I am on Windows 7 64-bit, so I'm going to choose Windows. It's going to take me to another one. I would choose the most stable version, not the beta version or the nightly version. Um, it's going to be your second option here. I'm on 64-bit. doesn't matter what download it is. Download the build. Um, you're going to unzip it now. Let's extract all. Yeah, sure. I would um, take this file that gets extracted and put it in your hard drive somewhere where you're not going to change it. And go into the folder and go into the bin folder. All you're going to do is copy this location here. Now you're going to go to your start menu and type in advanced system settings. There it is. View advanced system settings from the control panel. Go there. Environment variables. In the bottom window, scroll down to path. Press edit. Now very, very, before you do this, very important. Do not delete anything in here. Um, or else you will mess up a lot of things within command prompt. Um, but all you're going to do is at the end of path, I already have it here. You're going to hit semicolon and you're going to paste that location we copied earlier. Now hit OK. And OK. And OK. Now on your desktop, you're going to right click, hit New, Text Document, and type in Move Converter mp4 or something and change the extension to dot bat and hit yes if you can't see um, the extension then all you have to do is go to windows explorer hit alt view sorry tools folder options view and Uncheck hide extensions for known file types, and your extension should pop up. You should be able to change it. So now we're going to right click on our new bat file, press edit, and you're going to paste this code that's in the description below or also in the file you can download into this box and hit save. Now we're going to copy this converter that we just made into the place where we have our MOV videos. So I have all my MOVs in here and I have pasted my 
MOV to MP4 tool in here. Now all you're going to do is run this. And what this is going to do is it will automatically take all the MOVs in this folder and convert them to MP4s. It doesn't take very much time to finish. This whole folder uh, full of maybe 15 or 20 gigabytes just took about a minute. Now what I'm going to do is change the view of my folders here. Go to details, sort by file type, and I have all of my MP4s here now. Now I can bring my MP4s into Sony Vegas, and they won't be slow since if it's over two gigabytes, and it'll actually work and, uh, without having the QuickTime video codec installed. From what I can tell, this uh, converter is actually lossless, so you retain all of your quality. Now, last part is you're going to uh, render the movie. Um, I like to go to Blu-ray 1920x1080-60i, hit Customize Template, um, leave all this stuff alone, include Audio Stream under the Audio tab, and uh, under the System tab, uncheck Save as Separate File. And hit Render. This works for you. Um, if you have any other questions, let me know. Um, in the comments below. Uh, you can make this yourself or you can download the actual .bat already made in the description. Um, but otherwise, good luck and I'll see you next time.